I'm Brad. And I'm Trey. And this is a Boca Raton vlog. I'm out in Boca Raton. I'm sipping Roca Patron. I got this chick on the phone. Talking about life and how I just ain't right for her. I've been inclined to agree. Cause all I've been doing is me now. Truck 5, Rescue 5, a motor vehicle accident, 2835 Northwest 45th Street, 2835 Northwest 45th Street, Fire Zone 5, Matt Page, Southwest 8, Southwest number 8, a motor vehicle accident, 1922. Truck 5 is responding. Truck 5 is responding. Truck 5 is responding. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Trey, Deputy Chief of Boca Raton Fire and Rescue. I'm here joined by Tyler, one of our station captains. We're going to be taking you through a tour of Station 5 down here, and let's get started with it. Okay. In route Boca, one, zero, let's come zero, through this first nine, room. It's going to be our one, lobby. One. we got a shelf and showcase of everything, all of our achievements of the station. A couple of trophies to show off, and the developers who helped make this. And then this first door right over here is going to be our EMS captain's office. Uh, he does a lot of his paperwork in here, and you know, not many people come in here, but when they do, it's usually for a, a good talk, good learning lessons, and a lot of knowledge coming out of that room. Once you go through this door, we're going to have a, our bathrooms for all the firefighters that are on shift. Uh, we do have shower, stalls, everything else. Uh, and then when you come out of that room, the first door on your left coming into the station is going to be the firefighter's office. Uh, firefighters can come in here. They can hang out. They can do all their paperwork, sit at the desk, uh, talk to the public if they come to the lobby and anyone needs anything. All right, guys, and this is going to be our Station 5 captain's office. Comes in here. He does all his paperwork, runs the station out of this one room. Uh, he has customized it himself a little bit. Uh, we give all of our guys uh, custom imaginations to run their stations and you know and express themselves as they go through everything but if we come on right out of here we're going to hand it off to tyler he's going to go over what's going on in the main common room and more all right what's up guys this is the uh the common room where we uh hang out relax eat talk together during uh not busy times like when we're not on calls dinner time breakfast time, lunch time, so on. Over here at the kitchen. And over here, we got the TV area with a bunch of uh, firefighter and company pride. In this room over here is our uh, weight room, workout room. In between calls, want to get a uh, if you have a fitness goal, you can reach it right there. And in this hallway over here is our bunk rooms for all of our uh, fire firefighters. A diabetic emergency. Different uh, bunks. West Glades Road, 6100 West Glades Road. All the way down the hallway. Five. Matt Page, Northeast 6. A di All right, and down this hallway through the common room. This is the apparatus floor. Where the, uh, this is where the rescue five is, but they're currently out on a run. Truck five, they're outside doing some drills right now. And over in this little section right Rest here would be the, um, 
Rescue, five. rescue 25, and over here would be the chief. You can go and put Rescue 5 back Let's go into the Go this little area location. over here, and this door would be the decontamination room. After fires, service. the uh, members put their gear in the washers, get all those decontaminants off of there, and also the the attack line, supply lines, get all the dirt off of there, all that nasty stuff. Come have decon room, and here's the gear room. All the chiefs, captains, lieutenants, engineers, firefighters, and probies have all their equipment in here. And this is back at truck five, and this is Engineer Hunter, and he's going to take you guys on a tour throughout truck five. All right, guys. Hello and welcome. I'm Hunter. I'm the Station 5 Truck 5 driver. We're going to go around this truck. So just for the specs of it, it's a... Suffin SL 75 foot aerial with a 500 gallon pump. Um, and yeah, so we're going to go ahead and start with the cab. We're going to turn on the battery so we can see a little bit better of inside. But this is the driver's seat, so this is where I sit. Um, my job as an engineer is to safely keep everybody safe from accidents and also make sure they get to the scene safely. Um, my job is also to put the aerial up if have to and run the pump which supplies water from the hydrant and also gets from the hydrant to the hose lines. So yeah, it's my seat, like I said, has a bunch of gauges, um, the parking brake, the shifting, and also the shift to pump. All right, as we head to the back here, this is where the firefighter sits, um, or known as the tailboard here. Um, so if you guys can look inside, you know, we have two seats for the firefighters. Whoever's on shift that day has their own air pack. Um, in these two compartments right here, we have specifically medical equipment. So in Boca Raton, all fire suppression apparatuses, staff, firefighter, paramedics. So we're our a ALS um, unit. So we have like the drug box, the Zole, and the airway bag, stuff like that. Make our way down to the pump here and we got a call engine two rescue five in place of rescue two all right so as they're getting dispatched i apologize for that on an unknown um, medical. as you guys can see we have 21, a pump 21 panel North here Ocean this Boulevard, is where i do all my uh, pumping for two, matt page from, get, from, from the pump to the whole on an to get water um, this is where I do all my magic. All right, and now I'm going to show you guys how to set up the aerial and how I do it. So obviously, we have to head back to the pump or to the driver's officer seat for in Roblox. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up the engine. And now the engine's going to start up. So the park brakes already is already off. So that's so now we are good to set the outriggers up. So we're going to go ahead and head to the back of the rig. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take the outriggers out. So as you can see, the red light is signifying me that I am in operator mode or stabilization mode or control. Risky 5 dispatch. Caretakers arrive safe here. For the operator. Uh, patients for the transfer. Side. Go ahead and place Risky 5 back, back down. Or bring it out. Okay, five bring sure. it down. Make sure it's nice and level. And then we put the parking brake back on, and boom, and now we're ready to set the aerial up. Okay, okay. Now, I'm going to have my proper PPE on, which is my bunker coat, not sorry, my helmet and my fire gloves. Once I have clear the restrictions of ways, then I'm good to clear. You can see, um, what I like to do, especially when I'm doing my brake check, I like to bring it all the way up, send it all the way up, 
Now I'm doing it a little specific way. Because what I like to do is I make sure that the hydraulics are good. And make sure that the that the rotators and the pulleys on the apparatus works. Because every second counts when we put up this aerial. So I start from the right. And I usually go right over here to this little box. Put it on top of here. Pull it for a second. And bring it back up. And while I'm doing that, I'm checking my scene lights and my runner lights on the, on the aerial. So I'm making sure that these work. And I just like to bring it to the left. And just get that hydraulic fluid working. And that was, like I said, those pulleys working. And two, make sure it's functional. So now I'm going to break it down. I'm going to go ahead and engage, disengage my lights. And we're going to be ready to bring it back down. And then, I'm going to show you guys how to take it out. A very good mode, which is always fun. Once I have it down, once everything's cleared, no obstructions, I like to sit out, put the parking brake again, and then it's just a reverse process. So I'm just going back to the back of the apparatus. I'm clicking on the GUI and I'm bringing it back in and I'm making sure that the lights are off signifying me that I am out of outrigger mode and I'm good to go dispatch was before was before there's a label to you once I have both of them in, I engage the parking brake. Sorry. And now we're back to good to go. So, hope you guys enjoyed this tour. And I'll see you guys soon. Alright guys, we're going to move on over to our rescue. It's going to be rescue 5. Rescue 5 is out of station 5 with, it, uh, with also rescue 25. Both are made the exact same way and run... Do the exact same other things. Rescue 25, the only difference is it's an overtime unit. But this is one of our engineers, Brad, and he's going to walk you all through and show you all what's on Rescue 5. Hello, guys. I'm Engineer Brad. Uh, my main responsibility on this rescue is to drive and get my crew to a call safely. So this here, this is Rescue 5. Um, it's, a, it's a piece of beauty. It's a piece of work, you know. Starting up here, you know, you got your cab. This is where the crew sits. You know, we ride the calls. Uh, primarily, you know, this is where we spend most of our time is in the cab. Right, so first in our first compartment right here, we have our patient mover compartment. So this includes like our backboard, our oxygen. Sometimes you'll like, you'll, you can see we have like shovels and stuff in here just for like, just in case we get a wildfire or something. Compartment right here, this is essentially my compartment, the driver compartment. Um, it, it holds all my gear, everything I would need, you know, hydrant wrenches, fire extinguishers. Now I'm going to show you every piece of my gear while we're at it. So starting first, this is our normal turnout that you would wear or see firefighters wearing when we are on a fire scene or any scene that, uh, you know, motor vehicle accidents, rescues, you might see us wearing this. Moving on, we're going to put our helmet on, our pack. This is what you would mainly see if we're going into our, a fire or a place that has a lot of smoke or something. And uh, just to keep us safe and uh, prevent us from getting smoke inhalation. So I'm going to show you guys our mask and how this really works. All right, guys. So as you just heard, Rescue 5 did just get toned out for a call. I believe it's most likely probably going to be a medical. So I'll catch you guys back here in a second. All right, guys, sorry for that. We're back. Um, so moving back on, this is our uh, generator compartment. So this pretty much essentially holds the generator for the rig. Um, this also holds cribbing to uh, help stabilize vehicles when we're on motor vehicle accidents, anything that helps or needs stabilization, um, any type of scene that we respond to. Moving on to this side, 
uh, this is essentially like our, I would say, firefighting compartment. You know, it can tow, it contains like our halligan, our axes, our high rise packs, our irons, or anything that you would essentially need to uh, help put the fire out or force a door, whatever you need to get into a fire. So this compartment right here, this is our uh, bag compartment. This contains and holds all of our bags. Six, no, no, six Sorry guys, as you just heard, my radio did go off. Rescue 6 did just get toned out to a medical. But, like I was saying, so this is our uh, bag compartment. This contains all of our bags that we would need on various medical calls. Uh, you know, our jump bag, our uh, life pack, whatever you would need to help a person that's in need is we're not just firefighters, we are EMTs and paramedics too on the side. And so, yeah, that's our patient, our back compartment. This little compartment, uh, this is essentially like a miscellaneous compartment, you know, it contains like helmets or stickers for kids. Um, or you can also see some tech helmets in there. Um, but yeah, so that's our uh, miscellaneous compartment. It's It has a use, but at the same time, it's just miscellaneous stuff. All right, now I'm going to show you guys the back of the rescue. All right, guys, welcome to the back of the rescue. Um, this is where most of the work happens when we're on a medical or any type of emergency that needs patient care. Uh, we help them in the back back here. Uh, the back of the rescue, it contains a lot of you know, medical supplies, medicines, anything that we need to help you or anybody get better care when you need it. So right here in front of me, this is our stretcher. Um, this is what we will use mostly on every medical call or any call that uh, requires transport. Um, we just load the patient up. It is a power loading. So meaning it's not, we don't have to lift it. It's just a few click of a button and the stretcher does go up and loads into the back of the rescue. So the chair I'm sitting in, uh, this is most likely going to be like either officer or someone uh, assisting the patient or talking to the patient or commonly referred to this, commonly referred to as the airway chair. Um, this is just because we can help the patient get oxygen, whatever we need to, as we are close to the patient's face. So this is essentially our airway chair. And um, yeah, so moving on to this side, to so these seats over here. So this is where generally we're like a firefighter or any EMT, because our rescues, they are capable of holding up to three to four people in total. So the driver, the lieutenant, and two firefighters. Uh, we this The back of this thing, it does get crammed up and packed on serious calls. Um, sometimes, you know, this whole back of the rescue will be full. And so, you know, we do need to have a lot of seats. And, you know, this is just another way of showing that we care. So moving on onto this side over here, if I step over the stretcher. If you see, if you look to the left and the right of me, you will see uh, various compartments containing medicines. Uh, these include IVs. Uh, Anything that would we need to help you get the most amount of care before we get to the hospital. All right, guys. Well, that is Rescue 5. I um, hope you guys did enjoy learning about Rescue 5, learning its tools, its uh, usage on various calls. And, you know, thank you guys for sticking around and hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. All right, guys, that concludes the Station 5 tour. I want to thank the captains engineers and everyone involved helping us give the tour for station five give the tour in truck five and rescue five visit us on the next episode to go over station six of the special operations house we'll see you next time <laughs>